Hey everyone, my name is Sean Arnold and welcome to another episode of Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Online Ranked. Today I'm continuing my week of Naruto by playing Naruto, Hinata and Kimimaru, giving Kimimaru another chance as my assist and um, before before I really put him on the shelf I wanted to experiment with him a bit more and see how much I can get out of him. Um, because um, he, he can be good, but he just didn't have quite the impact I had hoped he had as, say, uh, when I used Toby and Toby started to be used. Playing against um, Taitao Mech Knight, that's an interesting name. A lot of stuff going on there. And he's playing Father and Son, Minato, and uh, QB Mode Naruto, who do a lot of damage between themselves and are very, very popular. He uses Substitution and manages to land an Ultra on me. I need to stop falling for that. I really, really need to learn to watch out for these things, but um, it's just not in my muscle memory yet. I'm going to take a lot of damage for, for that. However, it doesn't. Um, those ultimates stole a lot of punishments. And now that I see he only has a few subs left, I'm going to go in using my substitutions and him to, to cover me. And now that he has no subs, I'm going to do a nice long combo string and do a reset in the air for a knockdown. Now I'm going to charge up. He's going to wake up. He's going to put the pressure on me. But uh, I have no subs there, so I call out Kimimaru to back me up here. And Kimimaru does, uh, manages to catch my opponent's Minato and launch him into the sky where I continue the combo with Naruto. Nice little synergy between those two there. Now, at about long range, I call Hinata to keep the pressure going because he has no subs left. I'm going to keep the combo string going once again. Here goes the launcher up into the sky and should be another knockdown there. Now, he's managed to get all his subs back because he's low on health. That's a feature of the game where um, when you're in critical mode, you get all your subs. And um, now he's going to try and hit me with his team ultimate, but I know to block that. It's really, really easy to block those if you're ready for it. Because the screen goes dark, you get a big orange glow. It, they telegraph it really, really well, so um, you just got to be prepared for it. I do still get hit by it every now and then, but um, I think I've learned to at least watch out for that one. My opponent is now going to activate uh, Minato's QB mode. And now he's going to teleport in doing some crazy stuff. That is a really, really crazy teleport that move there. I'm going to try and defend as much as I can, but um, I know that my opponent only has a little bit of health left, so I'm trying to catch him out with my assists and see if I can get a punish on him. I used a team ultimate there. I'm not quite sure why I did that. I just cancelled the internet by accident, but I did manage to get him with the ultra. Here you go, Revan619. You said you wanted to see it. There you go. And um, I'm not the biggest fan of ultras in this game. I'm more of a big fan of awakenings, but um, it depends on the character. I do prefer Naruto's awakening to his ultra or ultimate. My god, I'm not gonna get over Street Fighter, am I? The Rasengan punish. Why do I get keep getting hit by that? Honestly, I uh, I hate every time I someone uses a Rasengan against me, I hate getting hit by it because I know I should just learn from my mistakes, especially Minato. He does it so fast. Right, my opponent's trying to be aggressive at this point here. He's gonna throw out his ultra. I uh, call out Kimimaru to cover me for a bit and get my chakra back in. And now I'm gonna use my awakening mode to kind of put some pressure onto him. He keeps attacking with Minato, he's going to be fearless. He tries to hit me with the Sengen and I block it that time. I try to attack him with um, my normal attacks, but however, I have no subs left and I'm unable to stop his Ultra. Which is really unfortunate, I wasn't prepared for this and um, I should have really, really expected this to happen. Thanks to that, Minato is going to be able to finish that round off and he's going to kind of set the field back to even. It's really interesting that he's using only one sub as opposed to two. With one sub, um, your subs, not one sub, sorry, one, um, one support. When you only have one support, it recharges a lot quicker, but of course you only have the one support instead of the two. Um, it's an interesting option, and I wonder if it's really, really viable in some cases. Okay, kind of still even at this point here. I've got two subs, I see that he's got three, so I'm going to need to make him kind of burn it off. I'm trying to buy some time until my assist recharge. He comes in, so I call out Hinata, who does a really, really good job at covering. And then I try to uh, attack him, but he punches me with a Rasengan. Rasengan's going to knock me back. And now I use my Ultra on him again. I didn't expect myself to use that there. I'm not really quite sure. That might have been an accident, but it worked. I think it was because he was dashing around that I decided to punish him with it. Just to put him on notice. I use the Demon Shuriken there. You've got to be careful with the Demon Shuriken. When the Arto starts doing his combo, if your opponent uh, substitutes away, um, they can punish you with it quite easily because you can't move around. Gotta really be careful with that move. I might have to switch back to Rasengan. Okay, he's trying to land big damage on me whilst I'm trying to get my little damage, but big combos on him. And he has no subs there, so really, it's all home sailing at this point, and I managed to finish off the round. Good game to you, Taito, Mech Knight. And thank you for playing me, dude. 
as we get into another video here or another clip here now. Now I'm playing against Switch Kid. Switch Kid is using the Hugo team, including Neji, um, Hinata, and Rock Lee. Actually, it's not all a Hugo team. Actually, uh, this is a uh, what Team Nine? No, no, Hinata's on a different team. She's on Kiba's team. Right, so I'm going in hard. I'm attacking in as much as I can, trying to test him out, trying to put pressure on him. I get to use up those subs. He's not wasting them too much, but he's not able to really get a counter attack in. And I managed to do about 90% of his health in one go there. I call out Kimimaru to keep the pressure on, but I get stunned by Hinata. So that's what that feels like, huh? I'm going to keep an eye out for Hinata's assist. Right, he's trying to pressure me here with uh, uh, Neji's combos, but I managed to teleport away. And I keep the pressure going on with my own basic attacks myself. I'm really, really low on chakra, so I do need to get some room here. So um, I'm going to just try and charge up as much as I can. There's Kaiten. Kaiten blocks off my assist. And I have swapped to the Rasengan for this fight here. And that's what I mean by the Rasengan. It's really, really slow on Naruto. I'm um, not sure I'm a really big fan of it. I uh, go in for the combo there. Try to cross up with Hinata, but it doesn't work. Neji's doing lots of attacks quite quickly. And he manages to punish me. But, um, and both of us now are empty on subs. I'm going to keep the pressure on, really. Whoever lands the first combo here is going to be able to get some damage in. I call out Kibimaru to do some pressure. I managed to get the launcher into the sky, and I tried to dash upwards, but I managed to botch it somehow. Maybe, maybe I attacked too soon. But that's okay. I'm going to keep the pressure going. I see that he's trying to use his awakening there, so I'm going to keep it keep it pressure, and I'm not going to allow him to open up the gates, or, sorry, open up the, uh, open up the Miyakugan. I use an awakening of my own. The thing about this awakening is, um, I really, really love this awakening, but I hate Kimimaru's assist in this awakening mode. But I'm just going to keep doing some damage there. As you can see, Naruto does a lot of damage very, very quickly in this awakening mode. Got a nice, comfortable lead at this point. Still got most of my second bar there. He's going to try and do some damage to me. He tries to end with a Kaiten and then goes into Ultimate or Ultra. No, Ultimate. No, it's Ultimate in this game. He's doing a lot of his special moves. He's kind of panicking at this point here. So I'm going to keep, take advantage of that. I'm going to keep the pressure going. I have no really reason to fear him at this point here. I'm just going to keep him using my subs wisely and keep the pressure going in terms of combos. I am trying to incorporate that double jump dash into my strategies now. And I'm getting some good results with it. It seems to be working. I'm just going to remember to do it and um, to allow myself to jump to full height. Here comes Kimimaru again with the punish. He just keeps going, which is so good about him. Even though he's substituted away, Kimimaru still keeps going. And actually got him to burn out two subs there, which was really, really good. Um, got a nice, nice comfortable lead here. So I'm going to use my Awakening again. I'm going to go in for the punish and keep the pressure going. I'm going to dash in, get the attacks going. And he raged quit. At least I'm going to assume he rage quit. There's no real way of telling you, but um, I'm going to assume the dude rage quit there. Thanks, Switch Kid, for doing that. That was also my rank up match. I was going to rank up in that fight there, but um, what can you do? But that's okay. I've got another opportunity here, and I'm playing against... I have to see his name again. One second. Big Fat Eat 10. That's a weird name. I open him up with Hinata, I do the jump and dash in with uh, Naruto, gonna put the pressure in, get him to use one of his subs. And he's also using Danzo. Danzo's also another really good assist apparently. And apparently goes through other assists as well. Um, I might check him out sometime in the future. Keeping the pressure on him, block enough and he's got some distance from me. I have no subs at the moment so I'm gonna try and be careful and he's using the double jump dash in as well. Another player so that is uh, relying on that use. I'm going to take my time, I'm going to get some distance, and I'm going to die and defend here, but he manages to break my guard. He doesn't get to capitalize on it though, and I managed to dash away. And now that I've got some of my subs back in, I'm going to go in quite hard. He's got, he had one sub left, and now I'm going to punish him with the Ultra, now that he doesn't have any. He just about got one with that last hit there. I managed to hit with the Naruto Ultimate 2K Barrage. Barrage. Judging up at this point here. I'm going to try and find an opening. I'm trying to do the double dash in. And um, I did manage to open up a little bit there. But he managed to get out his ultra. Ultimate. Somehow. I'm still messing that up man. I'm not going to learn. Alright so. Um, there's Yamato's grab again. I really like Yamato's grab. He's going to keep me away with a special quite a bit. Or is that his tool attack? I, either way. He's doing a good job at zoning me out. And just keeping me away from him. I'm just going to wait at this point. I'm going to wait for my sister to come back a little bit. 
let him be, spend as much resources as he wants to. And now that I've got at least Hinata back, I'm going to pop my Awaken in because at least she can cover me. So I'm going to dash in slowly with Naruto. I called Hinata to get the punish in and now dash in with the Awakening. Start going with the barrage of claw strikes. And I try to punish him now with a Vermillion Rasengan. That is a lot faster. That is more like his um, adult forms Rasengans. So at least that one is good. And yeah, there goes the damage. <laughs> and just for good measure, I'm going to keep the combo going even after he died. Got a nice comfortable lead here at this point. It's, I'm not doing too badly here. Kimaru comes in with his uh, move. It lasts quite a long time. And I'm actually starting to really enjoy Kimaru at this point. I think he does have some use here. I've just got to be smart with the way you use him. He's not quite brain dead as some other assister. And he's, this guy's going to keep chipping me out. Quite literally with big giant pieces of wood. And um, I'm going to try and get my resources in before I go in. Ha um, again, I'm going to try and do as much as I can while I still have the health. Um, I do in order to try and take as much of his pos uh, health as possible so I have a lead before the next round. I land the Demon Wind Shuriken but he teleports out of it and as you can see it's really really quite easy to punish that move. Um, the Demon Wind Shuriken is really cool but um, really easy to punish. And since I don't use leader switch a lot I'm still sticking with one character really. I'm going to um, I might have to do it special with Sengen again. Right, Hinata's air palm strikes open up my opponent again. I go in for the pressure, keep the attacks going, try to get rid of his subs. I have three, only has one. I'm going to charge up, but I see that he's no one sub, so he, he dashes towards me, which is fine because I was going to come at him. And he manages to hit me with the guard break, and with the guard break item, he now gets a free chance to use the ultimate on me. It does decent damage, kind of makes us even in health. I call out Kimimaru there. That was a really bad time to call out Kimimaru. Um... It wasn't really a good time to use that there. Keep the pressure going with Naruto. Naruto's attack strikes are so quick and so good at punishing. I'm not going to let him up. I will give him an opportunity to use his awakening there. I'm going to keep it going. Launch into the sky and get the knot down there. And yeah, I managed to get a rank up. I don't have it on the video there, but I'm now an upper classman. Out of the slums, out of the lower ranks and into the upper classes. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed so far my week of Naruto. Tomorrow is going to be a subscriber showdown episode of me and someone um, uh, who you'll find out tomorrow. But uh, then the week of Naruto will continue the following day after that. Thank you for watching these videos as always guys. Much love, take care and goodbye.